Hi everyone, today we're discussing accounts receivable. We'll be talking about the direct write-off method and I'm your instructor Brandy. The direct write-off method is only used by companies with very low levels of accounts receivable. It's not the preferred method under GAAP because it doesn't match up your bad debt expense to when you actually make the sale, when your revenues come into play on the income statement. Under this method, what we're going to do is as soon as we know that a customer is not going to pay us, we're going to write it off to bad debt expense. So let's look at a quick example. So in our example, our company uses the direct write-off method. Our customer, Jason Smith, has an outstanding balance with us of $1,000 and his account actually needs to be written off. So our journal entry would look like this. Our debit would be to bad debt expense for the amount of the write-off, so $1,000, and our credit would be to accounts receivable for $1,000. Note that under this method we are not using an allowance for doubtful accounts. We're simply writing it off to the income statement as a bad debt expense as we know that the customer is not going to pay us. And that's how you write off accounts using the direct write-off method. Thanks for watching everyone.